The Term Lab Sound Measurement System is a sophisticated test instrument designed for taking and analyzing sound related measurements. The system consists of various hardware components. After completing this lesson, you will be able to correctly identify these components. Please unpack the Term Lab Measurement System and place all of the hardware components on a table or bench for identification purposes. The TermLab Magnum interface box is the largest component in the system. This box contains a powerful microprocessor and the associated circuitry required for communicating with the computer and the TermLab peripheral components, such as the sensor, the power probe, and the RTA microphone. We'll talk more about the peripheral hardware components later in this lesson. At this time, please identify the TermLab Magnum interface box. There are four input ports located on the front panel, labeled input A through input D. An XLR microphone jack can also be found on the front panel. The front panel of the interface box also includes the power and status LEDs. The red power LED indicates power is present and the green status LED indicates the status of the system. The rear panel of the interface box includes a USB connector that is used to attach the system to the computer. A speaker jack, generator output RCA connector, digital I.O. port, and expansion port can also be found on the rear of the interface. The TermLab USB cable is a standard USB printer cable. It has a Type A connector at one end and a Type B connector at the other. This cable is used to connect the TermLab interface box to the computer. Please identify this cable. The TermLab sensor peripheral is a small box with two suction cups. The sensor is used to measure extremely loud, low frequency sounds. It incorporates award-winning sensor technology developed by our engineers. The sensor attaches to any of the input ports on the interface box with the peripheral cable. All TermLab peripherals are plug and play. Simply attach the peripheral and TermLab will automatically detect and configure the system. Please take a moment to identify the TermLab sensor peripheral. The TermLab peripheral cable is used to attach TermLab peripherals to the interface box. These cables are high quality CAT5E network cables with 24 gauge stranded copper conductors. A variety of colors are used to help prevent confusion when multiple peripherals are being used at the same time. Please take a moment to identify the peripheral cables. The TermLab Power Probe is an optional peripheral that greatly extends the measurement capabilities of the system. The Power Probe interface provides TermLab with the ability to measure AC voltage, AC current, and DC battery voltage. This small box has six banana jacks on the top, two yellow, two green, one red, and one black. Please take a moment to identify the Power Probe interface. The test leads are short cables with a banana plug on one end and a pointed probe tip on the other. These test leads are used to attach the power probe peripheral to the audio system. Each power probe peripheral includes two pairs of test leads. Please identify the test leads at this time. The AC inductive clamp has yellow jaws and a coil cord that includes red and black banana plugs. Each TermLab power probe includes an inductive clamp. Please take a moment to identify the AC inductive clamp. The optional TermLab RTA microphone provides the system with the ability to make full bandwidth 20 to 20K acoustic measurements. The microphone looks very similar to the sensor with a few exceptions. 
Note the acoustic aperture or hole on the top of the peripheral. Also, note the RTA label on the side of the device. Please take a moment to identify the RTA microphone. Compare it to the sensor and identify the differences between the two peripherals. The TermLab measurement system is a sophisticated test instrument for making acoustical measurements. The system consists of various hardware components. In this lesson, each of these components was described. You now have the knowledge necessary to successfully identify these components. Thanks for watching.